Hey, what's up broadcasters? It's Jeremy with another Rivet how-to video. And in this edition of SRT Basics, let's talk about SRT encryption and how it's implemented in Rivet. So in our short adventure through the Rivet stream settings, we've reached the point where we can now create an SRT stream ID. This is where SRT security settings come in. After all, SRT stands for Secure Reliable Transport. Keep in mind that this is SRT stream ID, not the Rivet stream ID. These are two different things for very different purposes. Additionally, stream ID is not supported by all decoders, so be careful with this. It's technically not part of the SRT encryption, it's just an additional security option. You can set an alphanumeric stream ID here, so I will do stream ID one, two, three. The decoder will need to enter the same stream ID to receive the stream. So a reminder, if you don't have a stream ID section of your decoder to match with this, just leave it blank. Now with a quick breach of etiquette, we're going to skip right down here to AES encryption, which is where the security settings are more widely implemented and where you can actually encrypt your stream. I'm going to check this box and choose a level of encryption that the decoder will accept. AES-128 and 256 are definitely the most common. Choose an alphanumeric passcode here if you'd like. So I'm going to do passphrase one, two, three. Again, this will need to match the decoder. So remember this and put it there. Along with port number and IP settings built into SRT, the stream ID and encryption settings make sure that you will be the only one decoding your stream. Please leave a like if this helped you and leave any questions in the comments. As always, our Rivet Slack channel is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and happy broadcasting.